let's get into some basketball, man. Where's the girl? This is our WTF clip of the week. Uh, don't know why everybody has a podcast, but let's tap into Michael Porter Jr.'s podcast. Wait, what? Finishes because they can't like get off to normal things anymore. Like mm-hmm. I've met guys who like being peed on, who buy cookies with poop in them off the internet and watch guys yeah. pooping. And this yeah. happens in the NBA. Like I hear, I hear wild stories about some of these dudes. But like you said, oh, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Other- <laughs> be a straight a straight man but yeah. they've done so much stuff with so many pretty girls and they have so much access to pretty girls that you know now they're over here messing with trannies or yeah, now they're over here man. or now they're over here messing with dudes and it's like it's crazy to think about hey. <laughs> that's crazy ah, 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 ah. <laughs> mpj <Yeah>. podcast <laughs> yeah, they, they, they be wilding in the locker Take room the right? mic away from bro now <laughs> Mike away from bro. What is he doing, bro? Hey, he bought um, it for real. <laughs> He's uh, nah, yeah, he bought too much. <laughs> well, he not is bugging, bro. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ain't his brother gambling illegally? What the, <laughs> <laughs> what, the fuck? what is he doing? Ain't his brother throwing games for the parlay? What? Yeah, they out there rigging games and he doing this? <laughs> they, they just... <laughs> Okay. Everybody don't said, I'm gonna tap into man. the center pod tomorrow. <laughs> not not yeah. even, not even close. Everybody doesn't need a a podcast. Everybody doesn't need a podcast. Um, let's do, let's do a couple more. These uh, are quick uh, ones. Um, in 2010, Stanford's Tara Vanderveer, you know, all-time winning coach, visited an opponent's locker room at the request of the team. After they just beat them seventy to thirty-two, that team was South Carolina. That team was Coach Don Staley, or that coach was Don Staley. Now I have to ask y'all: If y'all lose seventy to thirty-two, you on a team that just lost. You you you, you scored thirty-two, mm-hmm. and you see that your coach said, "Hey, I got somebody that's coming in to speak to y'all," and it's the coach of the team that just beat y'all ass by forty points. What are you, what are you saying as one of those players? Boo! And I'm throwing a tomato. I ain't gonna lie, real talk. Should I listen to what she gotta say? Yeah, we just gotta ask about her. But am I trying to hit it? Hell nah! But she just whooped our ass, bro. Like, get her out of here. I seen enough of her on the court. She was coaching, coaching. I'm good. Like me personally. I'm transferring that moment. That's the moment I put my transfer papers in. This is obviously, this is obviously is not the school for me. What kind of shit is this? What is she? What is she here to tell us? Why we suck? Like I'm not. I, hey, I don't need to hear none of this. You want to know why y'all lost? Forty two. It's your fault. Like damn. I'm, I'm what if she? Hey, what if she did say? Hey, what if she started calling out people? I'm gonna tell y'all why y'all lost by forty for real. It, it wasn't about heart. It wasn't about determination. None of that. Every team, you ain't got no left. <laughs> None of that. Remember the Titans bullshit. It was you. running the same back cuts the whole game. Where's your awareness? I'm sitting here like, man, get out of here, coach. <laughs> get she out of here. Why crash that, man? She I'm coming to our room and start blaming our coach. Honestly, Don is your fault. <laughs> you ain't gonna make no points. You got a five nine center. That's what we all. That's why y'all lost by thirty. <laughs> she came in the locker room like Gordon Ramsay's looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. You get out of here. Hmm. She started making idiot cuts. sandwich. Like, come on. <laughs> thing online up, hey. Say your idiot sandwich right now. Like, oh man. An idiot sandwich. Nah, uh, nah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even have a joke or anything. I dead ass would just leave. I can't do it. I, I'm a sore loser. I don't have time for the person that kicked my ass to be like, yeah, so what you should have did. I was able to exploit this right here. When you when you guard the ball handler, I'm not gonna lie, you have tunnel vision. You don't really put nah, I can't do it. Yeah. I'd have walked out the room. I'd have walked out. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'd have to fire off on my coach. I know he was a loser like that for real, for real. All right, last one of the quick ones. Last one of the quick ones. Um, so we have Shaquille O'Neal, and that's another one that needs to get the mic taken away from him because Shaq does not know he's done with the nineties. We all need haters. I don't know. Yeah, no. The worst team I had playing against was the Knicks. You got Charles Oakley, you got Ewan, you got Bonner, and they were really trying to get up. 
And then the Pistons were the same way. Like, you had to take that. Like, now it's these, uh, and then the flagrant twos and throwing people out of the game. That's why we think you're soft. And the fact that they say we, we don't have enough talent, you have to define to me what talent is. Just because you can do all that don't mean you're talented. That's not talent to me. Talent is running, jumping, and how you play. Have you seen the I'm done with the 90s memes? Yeah, I saw that. What do you think of it? Those are people who can't play, so they, they're definitely not qualified. It's crazy. We could take clips. Like, we could take bad Shaq clips and put together and try and make you look crazy. There's no such thing as bad Shaq clips. Possibly true. No, no such thing. Matter of fact, the fan that can put the best bad Shaq clip together, we will fly you out, and you can be on the podcast with us. You got room for four? Five? Yeah, I'm about to say that. <laughs> Don't let me get back in back my NBA room. bag. I'm about to say, <laughs> once you start, don't don't start this game, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I can I can gaslight with the best of them. I just retired. That's all that is, bro. All they're gonna do is just post a bunch of old memes of you on when you was on the damn Celtics and shit. Like when you was <laughs> nipping up the court, Shaq. Like why would you do that? You put a target on your back, bro. You went to a lot of teams, bro. No, why you do that, Shaq? Now, because he you know, challenged us. I feel like he challenged us personally. Producer Cruz has actually oh, yeah. a bad Shaq compilation. Hell no. Garbage. Big garbage. And finished. Tolbert kept it alive for a moment. Hold on. Hold on. Now. Shaq on the floor. Huh. Miss. Oh, yeah, we done with this shit. Yeah, we done with Shaq. Here we go. Here we go. Had no footwork. Y'all talking about Shaq had footwork. All he doing is spinning. Fuck here, Beyblade. We done with O'Neal. God, oh, Lord. This dude is Senator Siakam. What are we doing? Now, there's three full minutes of that, but, yeah. you know, we're we multi-streaming to YouTube. Uh, Shaq, there's no reason why you should have been that short on, like, Anthony Mason drop steps. <laughs> you, you, you might be one of the worst players we've ever seen. Shaquille O'Neal, we challenge you. We got three minutes of bad Shaq clips. Fly us out. I think you in Atlanta though, so I won't be going nowhere. But fly us out because <laughs> we got you. Three bad Shaq minutes. That guy's ass. That guy's terrible. I think it was uh, all one game. Yeah, <laughs> that was all the same game. <laughs> all, up to you know, it starts to change game. No, actually, all of that is one game. Oh man, that nigga Shaq. Like I said, we about to get on that podcast. On about to get on that podcast. <laughs> Gonna ask me. So you think I'm ass? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Hall yeah. of Fame. Yeah, uh, actually, well, actually, Mr. We're, Shaq, we're done with the night. <laughs> we're done with the night. That Hall was a of Fame drop, separate bronze pro touch. Fuck out of here. There's a game where uh, the Pistons play the Magic. Shaq had seven points, 18% from the field, five turnovers, five fouls, zero blocks. And there's another game versus the Bulls in the 2000s. Uh, he finished with 14 points, four of 11. Versus Dragon Tarlock. Who? He was a lock, apparently. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> <laughs> he was a lock. His name is just Dragon Tarlock. Name like that, it might be a different. lock. Dragon the lock. He, he's all <laughs> His name is really Dragon the Lock Tar. Proceed. <laughs> he packed his ass up. Uh, listen, let's do some NBA stuff real quick. Let's get into it real quick. Where's my sound? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This was the most disappointing NBA season of my life. Really? Damn. I disagree. Yes. Yes. This was a terrible NBA season. This was that last year. Oh, let me hear it. I got to hear this. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, the Hawks are ass. I was about to say, you personal team success or like... Yeah, yeah, personal team success. Come okay. on. Okay. You think I care about the rest of these guys? If the Hawks <laughs> terrible, the, the, the league is terrible. Another I mean, I mean, the league, the league been kind of bad for a while there for you. Man. <laughs> I don't know why, man. He's been mad at the league for a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Trey, what's your, what's your favorite team? You don't want to do that. No, no, no. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. What's your favorite team? I'm a Laker fan, bro. Mm. Oh, He's a man of the gang culture. In bitch. Gang in his bitch. He's a man of the individual, man. And we jump niggas on this podcast. You all bring people on here? <laughs> Come, Come on, on Omar. Man. We don't Come debate on. fairly. We jump niggas. We damn near in the same position, though. Y'all in the play and we in the play in. Don't you ever put us on the same level as the career 500 team. Please stop. Oof. Stop it. I think stop we've got it. three players better than Bartholomew. <laughs> no, let's not do that. 
Trey's not even a worst player. Anyway, anyway get, okay. Since so, since I have that negative of an outlook, what's what's y'all's outlook on the entirety of the season so far? Fuck it, Jesus. Honestly, one of the best. Like all the stars have been healthy. A lot of the stars have been healthy this season. Mm-hmm. Um, me and Dama were talking about it, bro. Like all these injury prone players that y'all think have been injury prone. A lot of them are playing like 70, 75 games a season. And I can probably name like five or six. Uh, we're seeing one of the greatest rookies of all time, having one of the greatest rookie seasons of, of all time. Um, and the West is like competitive as shit. I'm a Celtics fan. <laughs> I have, my team doing good. I don't know. Luca, Luca's being Luca. Everything's been cool. For my output, for my outlook, I mean, we have, like Soul said, a year where because of the 65 game minimum requirement, everybody went their brand, so they playing a lot more. So there is a lot less um uh, resting, a lot less low management. A lot of guys are actually playing, whether they're hurt or not. Guys are getting on the floor playing, competing. Uh the West is is looking like the old school West where hey man, you an 11 seed, but you would be a five seed in the East. And hey, West is looking competitive. The Kings were a three seed last year on pace to have the exact same record, and there are what. 10 seed, 11, uh, well, not 10, a uh, 10, 9, 7 seed. They're a playing team this year with the exact same record. They were 3 seed last year. And not going to lie to you, this rookie class outside of Victor, pretty damn good. I, I remember going into this year, people were saying, oh, this rookie class, a little top heavy. After the after the lottery, ain't much there. This rookie class is looking pretty good yet again. um, I think this is a pretty good year. I'm not going to lie to y'all niggas, man. Look, from just basketball, pure hoops, um, all nerd shit, 100% agree with you guys. I would echo the same sentiment, but there's unnecessary. I'm just going to add, y'all almost said without Victor, I think I'm including Victor with Miyama because a lot of uh, recent seasons haven't had a guy that's just like, yeah, this this yeah. is the one. Like, like, and there's no disrespect to a bunch of young talent. I know you're going to keyboard it up, but come, we don't have to play <laughs> stupid. This is the first season, like maybe five, 10 years. It's like, oh, yeah, we're, we're in good hands. However, that's just from pure hoops perspective. The injuries, pure hoops perspective. The um, the parody, pure hoops. Unfortunately, and this is was going to be my hot take, but I guess to get it out the way now, I ain't going to lie, bro. Narratively, boring as fuck. I ain't going to lie. And we could sit here and cap about it, or we could tell the truth. What, like, uh, like in... in I'm not saying we need to get back to no X's and O's, agenda pushy ass uh, media shit. I love the JJ and Braun pod coming back and shit, but in turn, uh, or starting and shit. But in terms of like what we're excited for this postseason, outside of recycled shit, there's nothing really new narratively that I'm like interested in. It. You feel me? Like it's like you got Kurt, you got Luca versus the Clips. That's cool. Can the Lakers make it out of playing and then go on later? Yeah, cool. But in general, the narratives are pretty boring. So it's like it's great quality basketball. Nobody's denying that. But in terms of uh like the entertainment value of it, it's cool. It's cool. Cool little season. Um, for me, the season from what I watched, because I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be full transparent. For some reason, this is like some of the least NBA I watched uh this year, which is nuts to me, actually. But um, but from the games that I watched, it's funny though, the least I watched was some of the most games I went to in person. Um, I like a, a, a lot of the games that I went to, competitive games. I really like the in-season tournament this year. Uh, definitely different. I definitely did. I Like like I said, me and my brother talked about this last night. The amount of superstars that's playing games that usually is injury prone is ridiculous. Like, you got Zion still on the court. When we had that. And then, uh, honestly, I don't know. I, I know Joel B playing a good amount of games. The only real significant injury that I can remember right now on top of my head is John ja Morant. We got Jack on for a while. He was out for the season. But uh, I enjoyed the season from what I did watch, though, honestly. Okay. With that being said, best part of the season, worst part of the season. Worst part of the season, I did want to see John Morant come back mm-hmm. and, and really stick it to them niggas. I don't know why that whole, okay, if he can do it in this amount of games, 40 games, they drop these 20 games. So cool, I was man. starting to get up on that bandwagon. Uh, So, you know. That's that's probably the worst part of the season for me. Best part of the season has yet to be revealed because if Luca does win the MVP, then I will be running circles around this bitch. Uh, since I'm going to have to take that a lot of people disagree with, I'm going to start off with something that 1A, 1B, 1A is technically John ja Morant because Omar, fuck you, about to be on the bandwagon. Y'all vividly remember I was on the bandwagon. I was the guy on the pod talking about, and I was getting vilified at the time. 
And I don't care if y'all vilify my previous take. Y'all was cooking me left and right when I was like, bro, y'all are really like forgetting how great John Morant is. And I don't know why, because he's not playing. And then X and Y and Z and Q and R and S point guard just surpassed John Morant. He got injured. And then you guys had some uh, weird agenda. All right, let's see what he can do in half a season immediately following his injury. If he can take like one of the worst seeds to the playoffs, okay, now he's good. What? That don't even make sense. Uh, but then uh, for me personally, the second uh, bad thing was just watching my glorious King Luka Doncic suffer on that uh, Mavs team in the first half. Not going to lie. I needed Luka to get the roster gas now. The best part, Victor Wembanyama. I'm going to die by it, bro. That uh, I'm not here to, to, to say the thing that isn't casual just because it sounds casual. Vic is him. We yeah. ain't had that in a while. And I know y'all going to type, but Paolo's good. But Cade's good. Fine. We know their buckets. Dog, we ain't had a Vic in a minute. God bless his health. Hope we can see more of Vic in the future, bro. For me, the most dominant regular season for my team that I've seen uh, ever since I started watching. <laughs> um, worst All Star game. Oh, All Star game was bad, mm. bro. Mm. Yeah, I was good. Yeah, that was bad. bad. That's bad. Mm. Um, for me, I'm look. I'm gonna still sage and go one A one B. One easily for me this year showed me that the 26 and under crowd of players in the league genuinely are, we're going to be in good hands. A lot of good young talent, a lot of good guys that are showing like, hey, we can hoop, we can carry the mantle once that the guys between 2010 and 2020, uh, once they're out of here, we still got guys that could be stars, mm -hmm. superstars, megastars, box office, whatever you want to say. We're, we're, we're good. The league is still in good hands. And after that, <laughs> hey, man, Braun being 79 years old and still got it, Hey, that was great for me because I was so scared more. going into the season because I was pushing the agenda. Hey, man, as long as Bron got two legs, two feet, two hands, and he healthy, he's still LeBron. And I was – people would give me pushback. Oh, nah, how can you expect that? Father time undefeated. That nigga losing right now. All I'm saying, hey, he is losing when it comes to him. He might not be LeBron of 2015, but he is still LeBron James at 76 years old. So that was good. Mm -hmm. The worst, for me anyway – I was the guy saying the Pistons were going to win 40 games this year. That was that, that was the worst. Hey, yeah. that was the worst part of the season for me. 28 games in a row. They got what? 13 wins on the season? Ah, tough. Uh, best part of the season, uh, like I like, like we said, just the health of, all, of a lot of players. I hate seeing a bunch of people like, ah, shit ass, bro. But so uh, the health of the players is good. And then like, I guess I'll go worse. I go John Morant being out, bro. I don't like seeing, especially like everything that he had in the offseason, him being in trouble, all of this, coming to the season, look good, and then he's gone like that, just fast. And then another one, y'all said All Star game. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put that because I personally went. Yeah, it wasn't no good, bro. It wasn't. No Damn, yeah, yeah, you I have fun there. I was oh, no, 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 no. Listen, was fun. in person, it's fun, but when you actually watching, like, bro, I'm watching the All Star game. I'm like. They really gonna put up two hundred and like it's not exciting for real, bro. Like it, it, it really wasn't that good for real. Now, now I'd say the dunk contest in person was way better than I when I re, when I rewatched the replay. The replay, yeah, good looks. <laughs> but the first it was I. Right. Okay, was that weekend a great uh, networking weekend for you, or was it? Absolutely, bro. Uh, I definitely recommend anybody. It's like a country credit, something like that. Bro, go out there, bro. Absolutely, it's not. It's my first one. Not gonna be the last. Even if it's in Indiana. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, I, I already know how to maneuver in Indy, bro, because the year before, I was in Indy like nine times. And I know the city ain't no good, but you got to make the best of it, bro. Indy, respectfully, Indy, I love y'all. One of the most boring cities I've ever been to, period. Damn. But, but you got to know how to maneuver, bro. It's a lot of Indy animals in our chat. That's Shout out to the Indy animals, man. Know I'm it. sending that to Roy Hibbert. <laughs> <laughs> Roy about to see that. Hey, that should be a problem next to though, because next to are in uh, San Fran and LA, so I'm chilling. I don't know how I feel about San Fran. Hopefully, it's all right. Oh uh, no, San Fran is kind of wait. They keep they ran Keith Lee up out of there. What you talking about? San Fran kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, you can't, you can't I just know there's a lot of Filipinos out there, so I'm gonna feel at home. These so. souls, they. <laughs> what? That's not those are, those are those are West Coast Asians. So we talked about this. There is a difference between West Coast Asians and East Coast Asians, buddy. We talked about this. Even outside of that, I'll check in for y'all, man. We're, we're good. We're good. Check no, in. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
day with me. Uh. That man, that man Keith Lee literally said, yo, I ain't gonna lie. That is not a place where tourists should be. Hell no. Nah. And we supposed to be going? That boy, he he sat there. I ain't I even I couldn't even imagine. Like, I'm watching how he was in Houston. He loved it. Atlanta was a little iffy. He go to San Fran. What's that? Oakland too? He was like, Oakland yeah. is, is in a survival state. I said, Yeah, they ain't no good. Oh <laughs> man. No good. <laughs> Gotham City. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, y'all let me know. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll yeah, talk yeah. About it. First of all, I don't think Atlanta was iffy because he had to come back with security. That that wasn't iffy. <laughs> yeah. well, he, he he made it, I will say this. It, it, my, just the Keith Lee tangent. I will say this. He made it through the whole trip. That nigga went to Oakland for a day and left. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> we supposed to go for a whole weekend? I yeah. don't blame him. I'm yeah. not going to Oakland, though, right? Like, San Francisco is a different part of it. Am I it's, a it's a bridge. I've never been there. <laughs> I mean, I never been. All I know is the videos. They said homeless people got certain street blocked off. You can't even walk down there for real. I'm like, I don't even want to go there for real, bro. I've, we'll talk to Sanchez, bro. We we got this, man. We'll talk to Sanchez. Man. Yeah, nah. Sanchez. I mean, Sanchez ain't gonna save you. Sanchez ain't gonna save you. I promise you. I've been to Oakland a couple times. I can only last a day too. Ain't gonna hold you. Hey, thugs. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy out there. Um, nevertheless, nevertheless, let's keep it going. Oh, we got some super chats. We had to read those. I forgot about those. Listen. Bryce Mason sends five dollars. Donations, gifts. Yeah, gifts. Says Come big trade in the building. Shout out to my dog Bryce, man. Appreciate you. And long roster for nine ninety nine. Gifts, gifts. Says I just turned twenty one. Sage, how much alcohol you had in a day? Ooh. That's a bad read right there, player. Um, <laughs> ah, man, look, man, like I got videos that I'm suggesting to you, not just to get views, but genuinely, if you want that answer, ah, everybody hates Chris drinking game at, at clear 200 after edits, clear 200, 200, um, right? Shots, shots Drinks. or sip? Drinks. Next question. Oh man! <laughs> Bro, Wait, what did you drink though? What did you drink? I'm lying. Ask the goddamn chat. Holy shit, bro! That was a night. That was a night. Bro. What the hell you was drinking, boy? That was a night, bro. Uh, we had the Serrano. We had Cutwaters. We had uh, what the fuck else we had? Man? No, no. We had four roses. We had man. something else in there. I'm fuck! I don't want a lot of niggas. It was something else though. But I'm telling you. If you think I'm cap, it's footage, and then there's footage after the foot. Chat, chat. If they think I'm lying, chat. Go to war, bro. I'm telling you, it was a bad night. It was. Well, I say, was it that night you was tweeting like, "Yo, I'm dying." I, I think. I think. <laughs> I think I tweeted. I think I tweeted something like, "Life, life's better on Saturn" or some sister song that night, and I deleted the shit out of it. Bro. I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. Bro. Ooh, that shit was bad. That shit was bad, man. Well, okay then. Um, YouTube, say bye. Say bye, YouTube live stream. Come over. Womp, womp. Mm. TV uh, backslash LKIB. You see it right there. Bye, guys. Mm. Let's I'll spam the link. Hey, are, we, I'm saying, are we dropping the link first before we do? They on there. They see it. They know what's going on. They, they know where we're at. Let's keep going, though. Um, all right, so I have our, I have our predictions uh, for the East. I have our predictions for the West. Uh, hey, how long yeah. were we? Yeah, we were. I mean, some of us were okay. Some of us were fairly accurate. <laughs> some of us is crazy. I feel like I missed crazy because I had the Bucks doing so good. So this Damn, is how I'm organizing shit. B Souls is the only one that had Milwaukee at one, mm. uh, which was crazy because that's his home team, right? Um, you know, I think <laughs> just makes it right. Mine is pretty straight, except for that bottom. I don't think anybody saw. Well, I guess we did see Indiana really. He can, nobody saw uh, the Magic. That's that's really where it is. Damn, I hold the Knicks. Ooh, that's a crazy miss. That Magic fucked us up. Any anything Nets remarkable here? here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knicks for Nets is crazy. I gotta hold that one. Knicks for Nets is crazy. Philly, man, if MB didn't get hurt, Philly would have been up there. The that's Knicks right. on right on them. Atlanta, why the hell did I believe in them? Indy should have put them higher. So I mean, I see. I, I, see, I see Omar try to get try to. Uh, well, I see a couple of y'all squeeze that Atlanta in the eight C. Y'all tried to get that off. Y'all tried. Uh, I tried it. I, had I, tried I don't blame y'all. I thought I thought Murray was still playing defense. Oh, wait, so I ain't know where it went. Five? Oh shit! Oh oh six! All right. 
Oh yeah. Five is five is five is crazy. Five, yeah. is crazy. five was crazy, but I'm the one that believed in uh, the Nets defense being <laughs> good. I'm glad I didn't believe in Miami. <laughs> I can tell you that much. I will say I do have that three way tie going with almost the same record. And the Knicks are 47 wins, the Cavs are 47 wins, and Miami is 44 wins. So I was a little off right there. Mm-hmm. But if B doesn't get hurt, I'm mm-hmm. right on the money with that one. I'm right on the money, man. I'm right on the money. Man, that's not too bad. That bad, bro. Actually, let me compare it to the actual standings. I'm just Miami looking. and Atlanta was really the only miss miss for me. But y'all, but y'all, but I say this, and none of y'all really laughed at it. But I feel like it's laughable. I have Nets at five. That is crazy. But Nets were at seven on both y'all lists too. I ain't gonna lie. Nets. Boston it's not like the Nets Boston. weren't supposed to be there. They kind of just. Mm-mm. <laughs> in in hindsight, though, how the East shook out this year is exactly how I thought they would shake out. Like this is this is pretty, this is pretty perfect. The only team, I mean, not nah, even Indy. Yeah, this is a pretty good shakeup. For how the East turned out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me yeah, move yeah. Down. let me move down to the West and then we'll go into some play. I know I I know I missed that one up. Ooh. Yeah, there ain't no yeah, way I got womp, West right. Womp. I was the highest on OKC though. I let y'all yeah. ass fight me with Phoenix, bro. Ah, past Sage. What the fuck, bro? Uh, I, 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 I let y'all gas like surprised y'all the most on the season. Minnesota. Out West, <laughs> the Thunder. For me, yeah, damn. Okay. I had them at eight. It was like damn one. Minnesota. I didn't have Minnesota in the playoffs. Yeah. Minnesota, what? Same. I had them in the playoffs is crazy. Hold on now. Wait a minute. I, I watched Minnesota last year. <laughs> even though even though they lost in that first round, they was actually competing a bit. Or they almost got swept, but then they came back to compete. So I'm I, I'm not surprised they hoping the ice probably going. I didn't think they was gonna hoop like this. Though. Who did I? The only reason why is because I well, I, again, I fell for Sage's trap. I really mm-hmm. thought, you know, Ja was gonna come back and do some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hurt. Mm-hmm. I thought, yeah, I thought Phoenix. I don't know why. I thought it was either gonna go terrible or it was gonna really work, and it was gonna end up at the third seed. Mm-hmm. Um, man, I thought, I thought Golden State was gonna lock some shit earlier. They, they need yeah. some changes over there. And then I thought, um, I thought the Pelicans were gonna be like healthy, like yeah, type shit. Like you know, it's gonna work out. But I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Maybe I'm not big like that. Only saved me, bro. Damn. Yeah, I was gonna Can't say change. that. I was going to say the king sold me. So instead of saying that, I'll say in defense of my Warriors pick, literally five through eight is like a game apart any fucking way. So what y'all going to do with that, man? Like, chill. I'm, I'm like, I'm two days from being absolutely right there. But uh, for me, uh, I think I have to echo again. Someone else went, but I went last. What, what else? The T-Wolves, man. I ain't going to lie. I thought they'd be in there. I mean, I, I didn't think they'd be in there. And they're like one of the best teams in the league. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh, also, I was, I was wrong on the number. I thought they were going to coast way more than what they did. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought they were going to be a championship caliber team by the time the playoffs rolled around, but no, nah, I did not see 56 57 for them. I did. No one had I Dallas. Did. Yeah, no one had Dallas. But but Dallas what? made a trade. Dallas made a crazy trade. When well, they not, were still okay prior to, so yeah, fair I'm enough. Say, but I, I'll say for Dallas, they already they had exceeded expectations a month into the season. I thought they would have been god awful, and they looked mm-hmm. better. I, on paper, I just didn't believe in nobody. Uh, Dante Exum was playing way better than I thought he would play. Derrick Jones Jr. was doing more than Duncan. Um, Derek Lively was Derek Lively. I didn't think he was going to be a rookie. Kyrie to be able to be a, a, yeah, Kyrie definitely was working, even though, you know, injury, whatever. But Kyrie was still working. Um, my list was horrible. Everyone told me. the <laughs> Literally, the Lakers, Phoenix, goddamn um, Memphis. I don't even know why I had Memphis five. I was yeah. drinking a stage juice. Nigga, everybody sold stage me. Stage juice? Way. I had Memphis at eight. <laughs> what juice did you drink? Uh, they just drinking a Damo juice, if anything. Say, <laughs> yeah, nigga, 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 <laughs> nah, we can't, we can't go from no, 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 no. We cannot go from I was the biggest John Murray advocate out here. Yeah, you know, I was the biggest John Murray advocate. John, hey, John's gonna take him to the promised land when he come back. John, well, nah, he didn't say that. He said that. Say, oh, John, the John's promised land. Gaslighting. You're seeing reach and foul, say. reach and foul, bro. But nah, I was. I had the Lakers three. I just knew Darvin Ham wasn't going put his hands in his pockets, but he did. I looked at the fucking roster for the Lakers and I said, yes, this is easily a top five roster in the West. And then Ham happened. I don't know. Not even Ham. Gay uh, Gay Vincent hurt. Vando hurt. Christian Wood breaking in houses. I'm like, yeah, damn. (laughs) Is Gay Vincent? I I told you about Christian Wood, but. I mean, Christian Wood, but the thing is, Christian Wood wasn't necessarily bad. His play was just. Darvin Ham was not playing him consistently enough. 
If you go back and look, and just like surprisingly, just like with Bo Bo, anytime he got consistent minutes, he was Damo. actually a serviceable big. But Damo. he was inconsistent. Got inconsistent playing time. Damo, he's putting his hands on his girlfriend. Uh, and hey, who would have known? I thought that? that was Jackson Hayes. That was Jackson Hayes yeah, like man. a couple years ago when he bit his dog. But I thought, was, I, I thought Christian Lewis was breaking in the house to get his baby from the daycare or something like that. That's I, what I thought. I said, didn't think he was. Her too. Oh, shit. I ain't know none of that. I don't know. Oh, He's oh, everybody crashing out in L.A. It's, I don't know what happened. That's Palm trees. No. I blame KCP. I blame KCP. Once he got there and let him know, hey, man, you can play with an ankle monitor out here. Yeah, he was hooping. Like, he was hooping. <laughs> Bro was hooping on ankle monitor, bro. <laughs> on the court with an ankle monitor. Only play home games. Hooping, I'm like, bro. Yeah, you can get that shit off in LA, y'all. I'm like, yeah, this is a bad look. Before we go any further, I, I like to talk about my favorite time of the year. It's when we find out who that one guy who tryhards in the last few games of the season mm. uh, really just, you know, puts it all out on the court. And the best way for me to take advantage of that is by going over to Prize Picks, my favorite application, man. Be so, take it away. Oh, uh, shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Hold on, right there, boom. All right, Prize Picks is let's keep it a buck's favorite way to play daily fantasy sports, and I think it should be yours as well. Uh, Omar will show us how to make an entry right now on the screen, and and the game is very simple. All you got to do is sign up for an account, uh, log in, and make some entries. Download the app as well. They got an app. Uh, Omar, go ahead and make your picks, man. Let me tell you something. I've been keying in on this guy, Keon Ellis. They don't even have the option for less because <laughs> it's a demon <laughs> pick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go more <laughs> on Keon. Literally the only option that you got. And then with CJ McCullum rebounds, we want more. And I'm going to go a little risky just because Trey's here. $100. Ooh, 100 how long? I'm gonna go ahead and hit place entry. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. It's okay. Simple as that. It is as simple as that. All right. <laughs> and uh, thanks to our friends over at Prize Fix. If you guys use code LKIB, you guys get 100% deposit match up to $100 on your first deposit. Links to everything will be in the description. And shout out to Prize Fix for sponsoring this podcast. Damn, you actually did that. Thanks. Yeah, I lost last time because James Harden want to play good. Like all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> hey, with somebody who who don't play good, all of a sudden want to play good. As soon as you put money on them, it all changes, bro. That new player, bro. <sighs> like, who are you? Why are you? Oh my god, you make me so sick. All right, who y'all got coming out of the uh, the East and the West? I'm gonna show y'all what it's gonna look like. We'll talk about how things are gonna shake up in both conferences. We'll start with the West. Uh, Lakers. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all got. Y'all got a little pack. <laughs> Honestly. Gauntlet. <laughs> winner of the 9-10. Okay, so it don't matter. Y'all gonna have to play uh y'all gonna have to play this anyway. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. What's up? I mean, what's going on with y'all? What's going on? So first things first, I want to say that this is not the correct uh playoff bracket. The Timberwolves will surpass the Denver Nuggets because uh I want them to. Second thing, second, uh the Lakers will uh indeed come out of the plane. I got it. I got What's it. going on? You got us? Yeah, the Lakers. Come on now. In the play-in? What you think I'm going to say? The Warriors? Okay, so yeah. what happens? A <laughs> little curve? I feel like Oh, God. God. Next. So what happens in the next round, though? Uh, I ain't going to lie. We play the Nuggets. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're not fan. playing them, bro. I'm a fan, real shit, but I'm a realistic fan. I ain't trying to see them nuggets again. I'm cool. Hell right no. I'm cool, bro. Oh, uh, man. Uh, for me personally, of course, I got us beating them little little bitty warriors. I ain't worried about them. Mm. I do have the Suns being the Kings because just like y'all don't want to play the nuggets, I damn sure don't want to play the Kings because for whatever reason, AD can't stop Sabonis, so I don't want to play the Kings. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need the Sun. Uh, the Sun's going to beat the Kings. We're going to beat the Warriors. Then we're going to beat the Suns. Let's fuck them. I remember and the last then, time y'all played, bro. Who's <laughs> was, was cooking double on the I don't pot. know what the hell it is. He just can't <laughs> guard that man, bro. <sighs> okay. So then I think I'm, I'm looking forward to... I'm looking forward to the four or five 
Y'all know, y'all know I want to see. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's all. That's tough. That's tough matchup. Mm-hmm. Got to see if Luca really keeps that smoke. Uh, let's see if Kawhi's quiet. Because all of a sudden, it's just it's just hanging on the bone. You know, it's it's, it's sturdy. It's sturdy on his thigh. Kawhi's quad. He's always had quad issues, but now he's healthy for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Everyone healthy. Game requirement. <laughs> Nobody's saying that we want to see an injury, but let's see how see how that quad holds up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do want to see y'all actually go against the Nuggets, though. Cause no, what? I, Why? I, I, what did I do to you? I want to see circuit shots in on a professional setting. Oh, yeah, like, no. bullshit, bro. No. Bro, the shit that he was making versus last year, you like, okay, all we need is one stop. I don't know where nothing but Nate. I'm like, bro, I don't want to play this dude no more, dog. Dog. <laughs> Random shit going in, but I, I don't want no more. I'm good. Mercy. He played number twice this year, and I, I I got what y'all meant. Like, oh my and god, bro, what the fuck? Can we get one stop? Damn. And that's, <laughs> and that's why I'm so happy that Souls went through it. I'm happy that Omar's joking about it because these goddamn Denver fans, I think y'all actually pretty chill, except when it comes to us, y'all act like that's normal. You <laughs> niggas just wake up and say, "Yo, okay, this team think they something. Let me show you that you're not." And y'all start shooting Harlem bullshit up there. Bro, look like y'all might as well have G-Man on the squad. Y'all throw anything up and it goes in the net at the buzzer consistently, bro. Fuck y'all. But I tr- don't worry, I ain't got no problem with y'all because I know the Timberwolves are gonna pass you. And when the Timberwolves pass you, then we'll go against them. <laughs> it ain't your time yet, buddy. And we'll move on. And then I ain't gonna lie, somebody gonna shock y'all. It won't be us. <laughs> we can't beat you. You're right, gang. Someone's gonna stop them. Oh god. Um, who's going to the conference finals and then who's winning and coming out of the West? So Denver and uh, Dallas can't make it both to the Western Conference Finals, right? With the way it's set no. up. No. If it's set up like that, no. Nah. They will play each other in the second round. And also, I said it wrong, too. I need the Suns to lose to the Kings so the Kings get the seventh seed. <laughs> and then we play the Suns in the second mm-hmm. round of play. So reverse it. But, yeah, um, me personally, I think coming out the West, if it's not us, it's the Nuggets because they knocked us out. Honestly. Yeah, honestly, bro. I, if I'm being completely honest with you, I think I got the Nuggets coming out again, bro. Yo, because, bro, he's just hoping, bro. Like, he he he's one of the most sneakiest players. He's like, he not doing a damn thing on the court. You look up, he got 35, bro. Like, I got I, I got the Nuggets, bro. Um, I would be rational and say the Nuggets as well. I would be completely biased and say the Lakers. On, but I'm going to I'm going to be biased <laughs> but pick my glorious King Luka instead. So <laughs> what I'm going to do I'm ultimately I'm going to say that Luka Doncic outweighs the bullshit of Nikola Jokic because Luka Doncic is better than everyone in NBA history. And I'm also going to say Clippers anyway. Uh and then we after he gets past Denver, there's nobody on the other side beating them. It will be somebody between the 1, 8, 4 and 5 coming out of the West and it will either be my glorious King or the King. One of the two. Yeah, I'm actually going to zag with Sage on this one, man. Hell I think yeah. uh, Denver coming out the West is too safe. It's just too safe. You know what I'm saying? I got Dallas making it out of that side of the bracket. And then on the bottom side, I got OKC making it out. And honestly, at that point, I got Dallas making it out the West, man. I'm going gonna... to right. zag even harder. Although, I, you know, of course, we're praying that Luka gets out. I actually think it is Ants here. Mm. You think so? I know. I know the Nuggets look unbeatable right now. I actually do think it's anti-year. I think Carl Anthony Towns is hearing all y'all with this trade bullshit, so he'll come back and he'll play very, very well. Uh, but I actually do think it's anti-year. So I actually have them coming all the way out of the Western Conference. Man, I, 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 like, oh, go ahead. Oh, I, I like the Timberwolves, bro. I really do. But I don't trust Carl Anthony Towns in the playoffs, bro. I, the the way he plays, I mean, I don't trust, bro. I don't, bro. Okay, so okay, so this is this is what I feel though. Ant is gonna look at him going into this mm-hmm. and say, especially, hey, you know, why you why you still recovering and stuff like that? Just let me run the show. Just let mm-hmm. it be. And then once he comes back, second round or so, like like fully, fully, he says, yeah, I'm I'm back to 100. percent Da da da. Ant still like just sit back. Just, just imagine 50 percent touches though. Just spot <laughs> yeah. up, yeah, just spot up, my G. I got this. And then they ride that all the way to the championship. Now, yeah. oh, well, not, not winning the championship. Let me, let me say that. Not winning the championship. Oh, you don't have them winning, bro. I can't. I can't say. I can't say. Just, just, mm-hmm. just out of the Western Conference. That's what I got. Plus, I, somebody got his act. Somebody got his act really hard, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. If 
the Timberwolves beat the Nuggets, I need y'all to understand, Ant is going into next year a megastar. <laughs> oh. The writing oh, is oh, on yeah, the wall. Yeah. If he goes to, if he gets to the finals this year, win or lose, Anthony Edwards is the mega. He's getting mega star pushes. You about to see the ant three, four, five, and sixes drop in one year. Nice. It's about to go crazy, and that's what we need. Yeah, capital I, capital F, but nah, they and they waiting to have it be a non euro. So nah, it's ooh. <laughs> they are put they are pushing it to the moon if he beats Nicola. Oh my god. Gilbert Arenas is going on his podcast, popping bottles. If I told Edwards. you it's an athlete sport. <laughs> Let's go to the, other the word side. athlete instead Real of just saying quick. black because they're scared. Um, <sighs> fuck the play in. This is just so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired Ooh. of being there. I hate the play in. I just, I, I really hate it. Do y'all think Giannis is going to be healthy for the playoffs? Like they're no, actually going to play him? Oh, well, they're actually oh, going to play him. A, yeah. yeah, they're going to play him. I don't think he's going to be. Him and Embiid are in the same boat this year, which is why y'all. This is y'all best chance outside of 2022 to get to the finals because Embiid and Giannis are not going to be 100. percent And personally, I don't think neither one of them should play. Actually, have y'all losing to the Knicks though? Uh, I got a Timberwolves Knicks finals. They, they need finals. Like it's a nasty finals. Nasty finals. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Double zag, double zag. <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah, you're Zag is too hard now, player. Uh-uh. It's a nasty. He, he, yeah, yeah. He, he's bad, he's a bad man, man. He's trying to get the greatest. I told you so. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all this is. This year, yeah. from the oh my god, the Eastern Conference side. This is a year of like, okay, what are we doing? It's time to blow it up. Thirty wordy thousand. If between whoever loses 9-10, Chicago and Atlanta, whoever it is, blowing it up. Trey Young, you're gone. DeJounte, you're gone. Uh, on this side, DeMar, I need out of there. Vooch, I need out of there. Uh, okay. Over here, whoever loses over here on this side, oh, Milwaukee's ready for some changes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Miami's ready for some changes. And then we get to those conference finals with the Knicks. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I forgot about 4-5. Cleveland mm-hmm. loses? Oh, Donovan Mitchell, he's gone. He's mm-hmm. gone. He's not responding shit. And then Nick Celtics, y'all go up 2 1, B Souls. Y'all drop the next three. Somebody's out of there. That's just the way I see it. I need I need some big mm-hmm. shakeups in the East, and I think that's how it's going to happen. Now, you know what's funny with the Knicks? Everybody's talking about, hey, the NBA is better when the Knicks is good. The, hey, the, it's a great time in the NBA when the Knicks are great. Oh, now, let the Knicks get to the finals, and we're going to see how much I really womp, care about womp. the <laughs> The Knicks finals. The NBA is fine when the Knicks is ass. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I'm going to tell y'all this right now because I know this community and I've seen it happen to my brother souls. If I see Knicks T Wolves and y'all think I think that's exciting hoops. Come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Go fuck off. Hell no. Hell no. I don't want that shit on my goddamn screen. That's, that's Ooh, I do. What? No, no, you don't. Brunson versus Lions. Ant? And I, I absolutely, absolutely. Brunson versus Ant? Mitch Robinson versus Rudy? OG oh. versus J Mac? Come Mitch on, man. This is why you lost the marketing conversation host. last pod, bro. Okay, L Commissioner, bro. They L Commissioner. He don't want mega stars, bro. He don't want mega stars, bro. Hey, this is the 20 superstars he was talking about, bro. Come on. I'm talking about good basketball. That would be good basketball. Like, I'm, I'm, it would be good basketball, though. Two say this shit. phenomenal defensive centers. Two guards who can get buckets. You got two defenders on the perimeter that are going to try to lock stuff up the best they can. Genuinely, two of the best defenses in the NBA. I, listen, I'm sorry. I understand that we might be just wanting to see the names we want to see. I'm just thinking about genuine those, good basketball. Those two teams go to the finals. What's your prediction on that? Like, uh, Timberwolves and six. Oh, f- damn, we got what six games of that. Six games <laughs> <in> that <game? laughs> That's like a le- that's like eleven days. Just oh next Timberwolves, huh? Eleven days. <laughs> just use what almost said. This is gonna be the same team yeah. that unpacked up the Nuggets and or Luca and or LeBron, and then they gotta go six games with the next up. Oh, the Knicks no, is one please. of the best defenses in the league. Yes, and the oh. and the Timberwolves offense is not like that. Outside of Ant, 
they struggle creating offense. So, yes, I would think a team going against a top defense in the league uh, is going to be grind out. It's going to be a grind out series. Uh, it's it's a grind out. No, no, you love basketball. We get it. Right. Real basketball. My fault, my fault. I forgot. I actually like basketball. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, here he like go. Cool. Here he yeah. go, bro. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't like basketball. Like basketball. Oh, I'm real basketball. Like, come yeah, on, bro. We all going to watch it. Like, my God damn. Take that to the AAU circuit, buddy. Nobody. I don't like basketball, guys. I don't like that shit. I don't like that hoops. You goddamn right. Before we get out of this one, before we get out of this specific basketball part, Boston uh, Miami was my East pick, by the way. Boston Miami. Yeah, that's gonna be the conference finals again. Yeah. Big Jimmy for the turn it up for real, for real. He always does. I'm not. I'm. I'm done doubting his ass. All right, me. I'm done. So. I'm, I'm actually gonna go casual. Oh no, this ain't even casual. Hey, Boston, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bucks Boston. I think that for all the shit that I've called out about Dame potentially being disappointing, I think Dame is going to be one hell of a relief for Giannis in the postseason because it's gonna be not only is Giannis hurt, half court offense. You finally got it. Whew. Thank you. So I think it's actually gonna be the teams in green. That's probably a scorcher right now. I can't wait for Dame to run into a good defense in the playoffs and oh, rely on double team. 1930 footers. <laughs> I can't wait. For that. Oh man. Uh, He's back. <laughs> quick hits. Who y'all got as MVP? I think Luka. we did this Luca. Jokic. Jokic again. Damn. Yeah. Give me Luca. <sighs> that, that, that. Nah, Shay is still my MVP. Oh. I don't care. Shay is still SGA I is still my MVP. To actually pick. SGA is still my MVP. I hate that. Why? Do you, you have a aura? If you're just trolling, okay. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Aura, okay. all right, bro. I'll no, 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 no. All just, <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. All just aside, they're genuinely what one game back from the one seed. They're they could honestly tie with whoever's the first seed in the West. I mean, if, you can't tell me that he's not putting up an MVP MVP level stat line. And we're talking about the league leader in steals. Come on, man. So the defense is there. Let's talk. Can, about I, it. can I ask y'all something? This just came across my timeline. It's a concept. It's a concept. Okay. It's a concept. I'm going to say that one more time. It's a concept. Okay. How y'all feel about these? These hoop shoes. These hoop shoes. Those now. are horrible. I'm going to ask. These are the big like ones, apparently. Please tell me these ain't the Wimbies. Oh. The Wimbies. <laughs> They're not the Wimbies. They're the, 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 the apparently the concept. The Clarks? The Asia, no, the Asia Wilson. It's like a lava lamp. Oh. I'm good off of that. It's like a torn Achilles. I'm just a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the ankle support? Oh, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is this? <laughs> oh, this is oh, Nike check. I ain't rocking with them at all. They need to get out of there. Are they the Valentine tools? I'm good, bro. Now, mind you, they had a whole ass event too today. Like, this is the legit. Let me let me see if I can find some more fun. I this just literally I just opened Twitter. Um, the AI app. That's terrible. those ain't the Wimbies, is they? That shit is ass, man. That's the Asia Wilsons. That's what they said. Who signed off on that. Oh. Huh? Crazy. There were some concepts on the Wimbies too that I seen on the timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see the Wimbies. Man, hold on. Hopefully those are the Wimbies. Let me see. Maybe because I, I, I think they better not put bro in them shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Man, so look on feet. Did someone model them jumps? He's the Wimbies. Ultron. They like they look Wimby size. God damn. Yeah. What is they that? trying to make Wimby fucking Ben 10, bro? I've been telling y'all this. Bro, dude. what is that? Bro? Omni. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Omni tricks out of shoes, dude. What is I ain't gonna this? lie, bro. Nike, y'all starting to lose it, man. What's going on, bro? What is that, bro? Yeah, Adidas, right. Adidas, Adidas basketball actually. Yo, looks... Adidas, especially like what, what I learned also weekend, they killing the game, bro. Killing it, bro. The and ones look at, hard. And then I look at Nike and I'm like, what the hell is this? Nah, I hate hey, that look, same exact joke, but this looks like a, another lava lamp shoe. This is crazy. These shits look too. like these shits look like they really went in the lab oh, and said, hey, uh, uh, Why make that? Uh, bro, they why make that two case you created, bro? Them it looks trash, dented. Bro. The back look crazy. Them is trash. Them shit. Uh. Look at Mm -mm. Where do you even put your foot in? What the big ass air bubble. <laughs> <laughs> it looks look like you hear a oh click when you slide your foot in. <laughs> no cap. Are they, are they transparent? Wait. An automatic shoe. Ah, uh, man. Oh, nah. Womp, womp. Nah. Another yeah. miss. Okay, rolling over. And that logo ass. Ash yeah. is trash. Oh, you don't, you don't like the Wimby logo? 
I didn't I see the movie logo. Oh, yeah, he's doing the movie logo. He's like the enemy of the basketball. He's now B Souls is tweaking. Oh, that's not ugly. Let me logo cool. Put the logo over. Let me see it again. Let me logo cool. I ain't gonna lie, it's all right. It's all right. That's cool. That's cool. It's gonna look cool on a little hoodie or something like this. All right. Well, hold on now. If it's on that shoe. Oh, nice. Nah, I mean, the shoe, but you, nah. you can't put nothing on that shoe. Nah. <laughs> yeah, there's That's no hold on you. Bro. That shit mm-hmm. weak. <laughs> that shit is not a zero. It's a oh, negative. Man, it's an average oh as zero. Oh, shit. That's an ugly ass shoe, boy. I tried it. Hold on, this is one more, one more picture to shoot because they got it outside. Brown, it looked like Goku shoe. All right, crazy. this shit is ass. Ah, come on, come dog. On. This shit. How come they on, keep getting worse every this time? I'm getting different home, colors bro. of whatever that is. Come on, bro. Who signed off on this? That nigga need to be smacked. See, this is what that I'm that talking about. Like made what is on the bro. side? Nigga said less is more. Hieroglyphics on it. What is that? Yeah, no wait, is all back in? Is that bone? I think, yeah, I think bone I got fucking yeah. herring bone on the side. For what? <laughs> is that bone color? What the oh, fuck? No. Bro, the chest said shit like a rash. That shit is garbage. Oh, God. Damn, I'm Start getting bad. hives. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, we'll, we'll react to some playoff hot takes of the weeks from discord and then we'll get into our own regular hot takes of the week because i ain't gonna lie i've been i've been fiending to get this one off um peanut says celtics and bucks are first round exits oh my god both celtics no. and bucks yeah, both no nah. i can see the bucks i don't know about this so Cel- Cel- i ain't gonna hold you the celtics, the celtics they're turning into the clippers they're they're the east coast yeah. clippers for me I need the Celtics to happen, though. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, you're, tell, you're telling me the Celtics gonna lose to the Bulls or the Hawks? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hold on, nah. now. There you go. Hold on now. Dejounte Murray got Jalen Brown number, nigga. Don't do that. <laughs> Not last year. Unless Philly played, then maybe you Four go Philly. I forgot Embiid is coming back, but he uh, hurt. Uh, somebody team about to lose to five teams. No, Mike, keep going, bro. Somebody right. says the Pelicans are going to the Western Conference Finals. That's from King. That is one of my dark horse picks for the West. I'm not going to hold you. Pelicans are a scary team. Everybody can't win. Someone has to lose. Pelicans are one of those losers. Sorry. Mm. Mm. I like the Pelicans. There's a lot of old Lakers on there. Low-key rule for them, but I'm super cool on that. <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't beating the Thunder and someone else. It's not. Get off that. Now, <laughs> if I make it to the second round. That'd be cool. But yeah. I like this one from King. Don't even think about just this year. Just, just with what's coming up, like in the recent years and then the upcoming years. Knicks will go to the Eastern Conference Finals before the 76ers. The Knicks will go to the Eastern Conference Finals before Philly will. I would put money on that if that was on Prize Picks. I'm not Ooh. gonna lie to you. That's actually a really good one, bro. I don't think so though. I got Philly though. I, absolutely, Julius Randle ain't there, so yeah, the Knicks are gold, and they might go to the finals. But even all right, think about it this year. Even if both of them don't make it this year, and then B, no, Philly. it's gonna get older, and mm-hmm. B, it's gonna get less healthy. So now you're banking on old ass Tobias Harris because he's still making a bajillion dollars from the niggas. Tyrese Maxey to really take steps up, mm-hmm. but on the Knicks side, they're still relatively young. They got some good core pieces. I'm not going to lie. New York is looking like one of them destinations again. Yeah. At some point, the Knicks would have to. I, I, I would take Philly only because I think next year they're going to be poised to do it. Chip on shoulder type shit. The year after, psh, hey, that is banged up and beat. But I don't know if the Knicks will be the exact same roster or even still be trying to upward because I hate yeah. to admit it, man. There was a couple of years ago where we thought the Knicks was up and then they had that one random year being shit again. And then they went back to being on this type of timing. I can't trust that franchise 100% going forth, but this year, mm-hmm. yeah, this is their best shot. I know oh, I got yeah, Miami coming out the uh, – I know I got Miami making it to the ECF, but, yeah, I'd, I'd bet on the Knicks making it there first before Philly does. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, this year I'd bet on the Knicks. After. No, I'm talking about like even the next three years, man. There's a curse uh, yeah, in Philly. Like, <laughs> for, me, for me, this year, Knicks, I know they hoping, but I just – Philly, don't let them get there before you. Don't do that. <laughs> I just nah, I, I gotta go Philly, bro. Don't do that, bro. Philly done had a chip on their shoulder for five years, man. I don't know. Yeah, don't these are facts. You, that, you know, <laughs> hey, that's, that's but the uh, Knicks. But the Knicks been supposed to come back for thirty years. So I mean, like, what are we doing? Hey, like, hey. Ever since, I'm not gonna lie. The Knicks are back though. Like as of now, at least yeah. in my lifetime, 
Yeah, I get you. It's mellow. Since mellow, I've never seen the Knicks like like Knicks aura before. Like my granddad was a Knicks fan. <laughs> he grew up in the seventies. I mean, he loved them. I've never seen that until Mello went there, and even then, y'all know how I feel about Mello Chat. Like I wasn't, I wasn't moved. But now, I like the Knicks. I, I do. Mm. Uh, with that being said, B Souls, take it away, man. Wait, damn. There it is. All right, hot take of the week. Hot take of the week, man. Y'all never thought this was gonna come from me, but it will come from me today. Pause. Pause. No Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. Kevin Durant. Has become underrated, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Ooh, I like it. Yes, sir, oh. man. I think um underappreciated season. Uh his healthiest season in a minute. Uh one of those guys who's been very healthy this season. Um, I think people are underappreciating the backpack that he's had to put on for the Phoenix Suns. They've been injury riddled all year. And defensively, going into the season, they were asking for use of Nurkic and Kevin Rand to uh, carry that defense, and I think Kevin Rand has done a really good job of being a good defender this season. And in terms of just like his career, bro, I was looking at it. When did, when did y'all think LeBron's longevity was like? Oh, this is LeBron longevity once in like crazy longevity. Twenty twenty two, probably twenty twenty one. Long story short, if you look at KD's longevity, he's getting there. Like KD is reaching like LeBron levels of longevity. And I know LeBron is like the dude that we talk about when it comes to crazy longevity, but K- KD might go down with like the second best longevity ever, bro. Mm. So, and we don't talk about KD enough. I, I feel like I don't know. We don't believe in the signs, but that's interesting too. Weak league, Damo. Ah, uh, see, I was gonna, I was gonna go with the Drake thing, but we did enough hip hop talk last pod. Um, my hot take, which I didn't even know was a hot take until Twitter let me know it was a hot take with how idiotic they were. Um, Dragon Ball, in fact, was one of the main reasons why anime became mainstream. The fuck that's not- I didn't know that was a hot take until I seen niggas on the timeline apparently saying, oh, no, nah, it wasn't Dragon Ball. It was, uh, I'm seeing my hero, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, <laughs> Attack on Titan. They love saying Attack on Titan is the reason it's mainstream. I think niggas need to realize it wasn't solely Dragon Ball. It was all of Toonami in the 90s. Now, listen, I understand mm-hmm. I'm older than a lot of y'all in the chat. I'm not that old. I was. I didn't grow up in the 90s. I was born at the tail end of it. But I grew up, and Toonami is where I watched anime. And that's where everyone I knew watched anime when we went to school. Toonami, big, Toonami's biggest animes was Dragon Ball. Was it not Yu Yu Hakusho? Was it not? Oh, fuck, 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 what was it? It was, I, I'm talking about in the early to mid 2000s too. I'm not talking about in the 90s. Um, shit like that. Y'all, in, in, you, in Yuasha, that one, that one as well. But Dragon Ball definitely was one of the bigger reasons, one of the bigger animes on Tsunami. Sailor Moon, Naruto, y'all know. But yes, Dragon Ball has a huge impact on why uh, anime is actually mainstream today. I can't believe, I can't believe people down there. Like yeah, I, I, I as the as the anime guy, and I have to limit myself on this podcast. All I'm gonna say is <laughs> <clears throat> my hero. <laughs> right, that's all I'm gonna say, nigga. What? Oh man, that's it's not even a conversation. Goku might have the most aura in anime, nigga. What? Uh, what? Ah, well, well. Speaking of aura, I ain't gonna lie. This is somewhat recycled, but hey, I have to bring it up, especially with the guests that we have today. Um. Yeah, 2K17 literally lives off of where that shit sucks, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, <laughs> it, it, it's not good. It Seven. literally lives off Wait of a minute. Aura, bro. It's Talk crazy. about it, Sage. Oh, oh no, he's bugging, y'all. It. After the Kobe it. cover. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, you want to talk about the cover? Hey, I know Paul George the cover. You know Paul George the cover? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Paul George Green. Yeah, Paul George the Green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh wait! Right, yeah. hey, 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 hold on real quick. Let me go to school real quick. I'm gonna come you back. Was waiting on greatness. Still on that bitch. Damn. Greatness. greatness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you hey, try, try, try card. I got the wrong dude in Two K Seventeen is my goat. I love that game, bro. Oh, goat. Oh, listen, listen. So you played sixteen and thought it got better the year after? Listen, listen let me tell you what. Sixteen had the archetypes. I had the shot creators, the locks, bro. We had the we had the sharpshooters and sunset going crazy. Hey, stretch bro, bigs. On, hey, stretch bigs. Hey, stretch bigs. Hey, 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 hey,
That's a glitch, nigga. Like, what are we doing, bro? Come on, bro. Double circle for the first. Everybody knows him, bro. Oh, oh, Sage, Sage, Sage. I got one for you. I got two for you, really. But I got one for you. Park cards? Come on, man. Oh, all right, now listen. Come on, man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Come on, man. You can't, you can't bring that up because most people didn't use park cards. It was Ooh. a respect amongst. Hold Ooh. on, it was a respect amongst players. Soon as you see you had a lame ass dude on the team. Oh, you want me a bitch? I'll be a bitch. Then you activate yours. But most people didn't use it though. That's that's bad. not true. No, 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 no. no. Most most people, most people that were casuals didn't use them. You're right. But yes, if, you are, if me and my niggas are on a five game win streak, we got the biggest win streak in the park at the time. Whoever's getting on that car, throwing the park card on immediately out the gate. If you if you nice at 2K, keep it a bean. When you hit that, like and chat, chat, everybody swear they're good at it. That's another yeah. reason that game sucks. Because all y'all swear you're good at it. It's almost like yeah, the game yeah. too easy. But yo, when you're on that like real comp win streak. 50, 60. Yeah, yeah, touch him. You know, ain't no motherfucker pull up without the Yu-Gi-Oh deck, bro. Stop it, man. Eric, come you on, bro. Listen, listen, you want to kill a few of them? Listen, listen. Everyone pulled up with the Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Dick Grand Badge? What we talking about? 17 was a game. Grand Badge. Okay. Oh, you want to talk about hey, 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 I raised you with something else. The My Player Builder of 2K17 compared to even today. What? I mean, what? you can't compare it to today because yes, yes, I can't. Sure can, you can, you, you got to compare it to the archetype game. Yeah, you no, no, bro. Games bro, because today, today they low key went too far, bro. You can make they give you everything. This everybody got too much. So you rather be Robert Covington. You rather be Robert Covington than Luca. Man, if everybody else, Luca, yeah, we need a few Roberts running around. Loki, hey. You know how bad it is nowadays. You see a nigga with a Luca build that play like Robert Covington because he has. Oh my god! Oh. What's he have in the build? <laughs> hey, Luca play like Max Kleber now. And no, no, I will give you one. I give you one. Trust me, bro. The one of the big things of seventeen, and maybe this was, and hey, maybe this was just an Xbox problem. No, it was because I had a no, no, no. Because on PlayStation, I actually was able to do because I had both. This is an Xbox thing. Mm. Niggas couldn't play in Old Town. Old Town oh, was broke on Xbox. Minute. And that's oh, for and a little bit, you could not play on Old Town for a minute, on, at least on Xbox. When I got a PlayStation, huh. maybe they fixed it halfway through the year. But on Xbox, especially at the beginning of the year, you could oh, not play on Old Town. You could only play Old Town the Rivet. But, 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 Oh, oh no. in old town, y'all was trash in there. You got to open the old town. Anyway. Okay, 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 I was trying to hoop, bro. Nobody was hooping no. in old town. You know why nobody was hooping in old town? You know why nobody was hooping in old town? Because you couldn't. Because it was close. You know what? No, no, no. Was the play. How can I hoop if I can't hoop? Type shit. If you were old town trying to hoop, you was running from comp. Thank you. Okay, you winning me over. You winning me over. You winning me over. Dumb one wanted easy wins. Because no. if because if you wanted to flex that what? you could guard what? somebody, you go to Sunset and deal with them shooters. If you wanted to show that, hey, I'm dunking. Sunset had the speed boost and loud. It's like, bro, you out there hoping, bro. Man, I don't know, bro. We go to 16. That shit's peak. 15 the year before, we thought it was peak. 11, oh, my God. Wow. And then wow. when 2K17 wow. dropped, oh, you, 17 was when the complaining started. No, 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 hold on. Thank you, so That's I what I'm leading really, to. 17, and you play this game. Really do it that was 15, literally. Don't do, don't, don't do it to 15. Don't do it to 15. Oh, no, just that. He can cook Try 15. Try to do it. Try. Okay, bro. Bro. Who can cook 15? What's your thing? I ain't got that good, but 15 was fun. I don't understand how y'all be complaining about, man, this shit's so broken, this game. This shit broke, it's broken. Then 15, damn, it was a good time. That game was so broken ass, bro. The second test ass. Y'all stop, bro. Don't do that. No, I'm with just not on 15. Hey, 15 if nobody, bro, bro. first of all, first of all, if nobody can shock a test, we all shooting for real. And then, bro, bro, the 2K Come community. On. Come on, man. Please, nobody stop missing the Jordan Wreck. That shit is ass. Oh, yeah, please stop. Please stop. stop. No, no, I will say, please Jordan Wreck is full of the south. Jordan That's Wreck with nostalgia. nostalgia. It, it's That's just nostalgia. Give me fits that can't get on the court, bro. This shit was trash, yeah. bro. Stop this shit, bro. Y'all don't understand all it took to literally get games and or not get games was this. Dog, you don't want it back. You you don't want niggas looking at their phone before they Man. walk on the court and then walk, bro. Y'all don't want that. Just be happy the wreck is what it is, bro. Please That is stop. a fact. That is a fact. Okay. Uh, with that being said, Trey, <laughs> it's your turn. Oh. I take it away. Y'all think I like me, man. Oh. Uh, I've been going to war with my community, bro. Long time Kendrick Lamar fan, first and foremost. We're going to go back to rap a little bit. Uh, okay. I was listening to Kendrick Lamar when I was called weird for doing it, honestly. Uh, rigor mortis, all right? I'm playing rigor mortis. Dudes, turn that shit off. I'm going that far back. To Pippa Butterfly, it's overrated, bro. 
Listen. Talk about it. Gotta stop. J. Cole, you was almost here with me, then you left me alone to fight alone. To Pimp a Butterfly is so goddamn overrated. Dudes oh. acting like they still playing it. Some of y'all are. Y'all are. I understand it. I get it. I can't say everybody. But some of y'all, most of y'all lying. Y'all, yo, y'all not playing that album, bro. Y'all like, man, I still bop that shit. You lying. You lying. No, you're not. Right. Cut it out, bro. When the last time you put that shit on, bro? Stop lying, bro. Right. I'm not believing you, bro. You did it's not big. just you did not just go, I got a bone to pick. You did not just uh, you did, did not just diss that album. I did. I did. I did. I but I, 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 I am a in there. Yo, look, oh let me tell you, let me tell you about Kendrick Lamar fans. The thing is, they low key making me want to jump off the goddamn ship. Because I can tell you how much I love Good Kid Mad City. It's amazing. I'll tell you, track track back right. to back. I can tell you how much I love damn. It's good. Track to track back to back. If you I know? say I don't like Good Kid Mad City, you don't know music, nigga. You don't know. What? You think that you ain't rocking. Better than Good Kid Mad City. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. To Pippa Butterfly. If oh, I say God. I don't like To Pippa Butterfly, you don't know music. Man, turn nigga. that shit off, man. You ain't putting that on, man. <laughs> yeah, nigga, niggas really out here. Niggas really out here acting like they listen. To, if these walls could talk, the fuck out of here. I ain't trying to hear that. Ah! Y'all really listen to that still. Stop it. Stop it. What's the stretch where people were trying to call damn weak? Was that just me, though? Oh, no. I feel like they were. No, everybody was calling damn They were. No, I thought it was Roman C when it first came out, but like, I don't know, like two to three years ago, there was like, yeah, damn was overrated. Look at back. Damn was really good, bro. I love that album. I don't know why everybody does that. And then you got to figure out who these people are when they go back and look at albums. Yeah. Because, like, I'm not trying to hear no, I don't know, no 15 year old's opinion about an album in like 2011. You were yep, six yep. when it came out, and now you're 15, and so your your mind frame, like you got a whole Playboy Cardi mindset now. You don't even understand what was really going on back then. So like, just leave that alone. Leave, leave that for the grandpas, right? Isn't that a that's a continuous cycle though? That's always a thing. That's it, like that with everything. Complex, like, bro, like, like they do like. like Honestly, what you're saying right now is kind of not the same, but it's kind of like what they're doing with basketball right now. Oh, we don't. Honestly, we're done with the 90s. We're done with the 90s. We're done with the 90s. Shut up, bro. That dude hilarious, dog. We're done with the 90s. Uh, he tried stretching that he got cooked on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started <laughs> to bring it into other stuff. Yeah. We done with the WNBA. Whoa, hold on now. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. He tried to I didn't know the- he remixed it like that. Oh, he tripped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he just started hey, talking. Hey, don't start throwing up heat checks. He's bugging. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he tripped. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let me oh, feel God. the crowd. Let me feel the crowd. Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. That's good, boy. real quick. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna I'm I'm go ahead and put you on the spot right now, and it's gonna be brief. I promise y'all. So, you take in for your eyes only or to Pippa Butterfly? Uh, I'm gonna listen to for your eyes only. I'm sorry. Okay, you take it right. KOD or you take it to Pippa Butterfly? Uh, I don't even like KOD like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna play it on to Pippa Butterfly. I'll be honest. Damn, okay. Right. I'm right. telling you, that right. album. That I do. I, I after I said this on Twitch, I replayed it. Day one, I played. Well, one day I played uh, Born Center again because I like the album. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me turn this good. Let me turn on to Pimp Butterfly again. Turn that shit off at the track four. Turn it off. You mean like Wesley's Theory? No. Turn it off. Now I ain't gonna lie. There is some songs like there's songs on it that I, that I really like. The uh, that Mama used to say, "One day is gonna burn you." That is a great song. That's a great song. But. Bro, every time I say I don't like the album, but listen, that's not the kind of album you got to sit down and listen to it. It's not good, brother. Now you oh, need a glass of wine, taste cheese. Bro, you gotta, bro, you gotta, bro, you gotta, you gotta be the right? you got a mindset to listen to that album. Stop, bro. You gotta listen to three spoken word poems before you listen to it. You hear me? You guys gotta play some sage, burn it in the circle, <laughs> and then pray to all the ancestors that Kendrick can talk to me. Like, stop, bro. <laughs> You have to absorb Kendrick Lamar's music. Like, you don't listen to Pippa Butterfly. You feel it. Like, all right. Yeah. Man, I'm talking, bro. What's an experience? Like, all right. Man, Kendrick fans, they, they finna cook y'all. They, they are finna cook y'all. I don't care. Nah, about I, I'm I know, on the Kendrick side, I've been Anthony Fantano? No. Came out. I, I, want it. I don't care. I promise you, I'm not worried about none of them non-deodorant wearing niggas, bro. I promise you, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not worried about none of them niggas. <laughs> 
Uh, let me get into my hot take. Niggas definitely listen to Uzi more than that nigga anyway. I don't know. Niggas rubbing mean. strawberries on the armpits, nigga. I'm not worried about y'all. This is why we can't go to San Fran. I know. Hell no. Nah. God, too much yeah, shit. Uh, we this have got sweet. to retire the term casual. What? We have got to retire the term casual. What the casuals? I I I'm going through our comments, and somebody said, uh, "Omar's a casual." <laughs> About the music <laughs> conversation, I think they said they said I was a casual, but it was about the music conversation. Okay, and so then I was like, I laughed because this was the sick episode for me. But then I was like, Well, who are you? Oh. <laughs> uh, we're <laughs> <laughs> not even trying to be like, because because who are you to say that I'm a casual based off of this one take? You don't you don't know you don't we well, don't know me. You don't know my musical background. You don't know none of that. And you're always going to be a casual to somebody. Who is judging the judge? Who claims that somebody is a casual at some things? So I, I go on my Twitter the other day, and I ask the question, like, who determines? I think I said, what's the expert and what's a, a master or something like that? What were the exact words that you I said? What's a casual and what's a, what's a casual and what's an expert? Yeah, like, what, what classifies? Casual? Yeah. From an expert, I'm really, really uh, uh, curious about this, and I want to share some of the responses because all of it, to be honest with you, is bullshit. Okay. This person says the length and the skill. First of all, hey yo, but I said who, who evaluates this? He says him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the length and the skill. <laughs> this person says the hours doing slash watching whatever the task is. All right, okay, well, so at that point, like, who evaluates that? Like, what, what's the criteria? Are we all masters? Uh, this person says 10K hours dedicated to a craft or subject. And I say to myself, okay, so we've all probably listened to 10,000 hours of music. We've all probably listened to ten, or watched 10,000 hours of movies and television. I wouldn't say that we're masters. Quality time spent learning it. Uh, you think in a more organized way about uh, that thing, than a casual they are always spending regular time consuming that thing and organize their thoughts in a way that is constructive they notice things in patterns that casuals don't i'm not gonna lie he tried to be real kendrick lamar right there it didn't hit <laughs> ultimately <laughs> if these laws he gonna, he gonna block me. <laughs> ultimately though like who who says that somebody is the casual? Who says that somebody is an expert? We done heard who was that SGA? SGA was like, who did he say Kobe was the goat or Ray Allen was the goat or some? Yeah, book? he said Kobe was a because of winning specifically, like over MJ. The ring. He got five <laughs> rings. You like? I mean, Kobe got five rings. I'm like winning. But am I more of a basketball expert than him? Am I supposed to call SGA a casual because he said that shit? We got it. No. We got to stop. We got to retire the word casual. Now, Welcome Gango. Side. Oh my now, God. Gango. I'm about to say I've been pushing this agenda since day one, and I do have to concede you've had pushback. And you are the gatekeeper guy. To that, you say you are the gate. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, well, I'm the last. I'm the last uh, criteria. I am the judge of the judges. Sage. Oh I don't, no, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't. I don't really like. If you gonna say the word casual with me, get ready to box. And not like in a literal sense, but get ready to get in a discord, get ready to get on the Twitter space, get ready to get on some platform and we'll really go through this like how I'm a casual or not. That's the way I personally feel, because I want to know why you feel that way, because we disagree about like, OK, I think Jay-Z is the rap goat. Mm -hmm. And because you think Lil Wayne is the rap goat, all of a sudden I'm a casual. Let, well, let's get in there. Let, let's let's really have a conversation about the bullshit. No, oh uh, no, but uh, your overall take I agree with. I've been agree with. Um, casual is a translation for you don't agree with me. If you don't, if you don't think this, you're casual. That's literally a saying in the media community, let alone music. It's it's 100. You either uh, you either validate my opinion or you must not know what you're talking about. And so yeah, I agree with your premise. It's just um, I didn't think this come from you. Uh, <laughs> I, I get it once he explained it more, but at the same time. We do need we do need the word casual, man, because some people really be casual to this shit, man. That's like that's like like, like for real. But again, now if you ask me what the term is this, I ain't really got the real answer for you. But so I'm a major NFL fan, right? I, I'll talk about this. 
I can start telling people how great Andre Johnson is, and then you'll have somebody fuck. He wasn't that good. I'm like, you, you're cast. You, you literally didn't watch the game. You don't know nothing. Like, so what? What? How do I describe that person? Besides, you're not knowledgeable. You literally, you damn cast. You don't know what you're talking about. Good job. You would just ask them what 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 makes him not good and who's better. And then if they give you a genuine answer, if they're like, and, and they give you some niche shit, I mean, you can say Andre Johnson. Nigga, I think AJ Green is like that. He's better. Now, if you want to describe, if you want to tell me why AJ Green is better than uh, uh Andre Johnson, we can have a conversation. But if some, you start doing that, you just come about. I swear to God. Who is the better AJ? Could you be a dumb non-casual? A dumb, non- a dumb non. You can be a let's, poor, nah, let's just be say someone. No, no, no. no, no, no. Let, let's just say someone like watches the NBA religiously and religiously and religiously, uh, but Charlie. every single time. He just comes up with really fucking bad takes. It's just the yeah. way he processes the game is just. Rashard McCants, Skip yes. Bayless, oh, Steve man. Smith, you uh, Gilbert Arenas, Gilbert Perkins. Well, he got yeah. Hit. The only the only compliment or compliment the only error in what the names were saying is people accuse them of not watching the game, but I'm pretty convinced they actually do. So yeah, for sure. What oh, people... are you? Well, hold on now, hold on now, and I'm glad you said that. Well, not all, not all well, of them now. Hold like, on, because no, I know it's no, next. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Oh, real quick, real quick. Oh. I'm about to say, before we share this, I, I just want to say, in terms of casual, I will say this. More people are casuals than people are led to believe. A lot more people in whatever craft are casuals. Um, I have learned, I learned this a bit ago, but I'm really con- con- starting to stand on it now. I feel like 80%, and I'm just going to keep it on basketball, 70% of the NBA community on Twitter or YouTube are casuals. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, we can have we can sit here and talk about the goat debate. We can sit here and talk about who's the MVP. But every time you had a conversation, you get somebody come up in there. All right, well, let's really talk about it. Because when you look at uh, when you look at Lucas Vorp versus LeBron's Raptor, then what we talk about? Then everybody, what happens? All right, buddy. All right, we we starting using made up numbers. I don't Must know. What, be, I don't once the advanced stats come in, or once we starting to dive deep, once it's really time to box on more, people back up because they don't have the information. They're ignorant to certain stats. Uh, but if we're having a conversation, then what is going to come down to? Who do I like more eye test wise? Like, but let you got to have there's something that has to determine who's better. And then once we really start digging deep into it, if you don't really want to go deep into it, then how much of an expert are you? Does advanced stats automatically make you a non casual? Not every no, but if you know how to use it, if you know how to use them, thank you. And if, you're, if if I someone knows that, how, if someone knows know. how to use them, it's a difference. It's fine to not know advanced stats. Mm-hmm. But once you are dismissing advanced stats, once you are conceding arguments, or you're unwilling to talk to people because they know what advanced stats are and you don't, you're definitely a casual. What are we doing? That definitely make you a oh, casual. Oh no. Well, I'm not saying I'm not saying I think a person who puts the finger up to advanced stats is is an auto casual. I'm not I'm not necessarily on the side of that. I think you need to if there's a situation that advanced stat has that, go for it. But I don't I also don't think that if you don't know what advanced stats are, you are automatically a casual. I definitely don't think that's the case yeah. because I, I think I, that's just a I'm matter sure. of like using random shit just to get your shit off. I think the people that use advanced stats, funny enough, are actually filled with casuals. And maybe that's a hot take, but I think that those people found a nice little website to go to, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. Googled the definitions of it and said, bet, I'm going to say some shit that shocks the room. I'm going to say some shit that you can't really debate because I know this number. You don't know this number. It's going to make me sound smart. I think there's a lot of I think there's a lot of people that don't really know how to watch the game, don't really know how to interpret the game, don't even know how to interpret the stats they got, but that's a different subject. But regardless, I think they just use but say, the term. The, 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 the person you're talking about exactly who I'm talking about. Like, you can't just bring up advanced stats just for the sake of it and just leave it at that, even if you know the definition. But I do think there are certain individuals, Swiper, where if you ask him what EPM is, he will give you a rundown of what that is and how to properly contextualize it. And a bunch of other people I can name. Okay, that's fine. Let me ask you this, though. If I put Swiper in the room with Michael Jordan, and Swiper can do all the advanced tasks he wants, but it's Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Swiper not a casual in the, in the conversation with Michael? Hell no. No, no, if he knows what he's talking about. You seen what Jordan did with the damn Hornets? That nigga is a casual. What are we talking about? Okay, so now MJ's the casual. Mm. Hey, hey, yes. What the hell? Yeah, I'm I, I, I just wouldn't say there's a casual and, and in the room. That's all. Always and I know some people are going to think souls cooked there. For me, I'd say in terms of the advanced stats, yes, if you know how to use them, cool. But again, I don't think that auto makes you a non-casual. I think you just know how to use yeah. advanced stats. That's but that's look, one look. of the many layers of NBA debate. It's not the end-all, be-all thing, Man, in my bro, personal opinion. You can know these stats and then not watch the game and then just start, to, like, and just start to say how some player is not good. 
but because this that ain't good, that's that ain't good. But if you watch the game, you know all, all the shit you're saying is not true. Forget context, if, you can forget if, if you watch if you watch the of people that, that played against the dude, you know what you're saying is not true. But then yeah, but what they say don't matter. I got these stats. Like you still you as you know. But that's but that's what I'm that's kind of what I'm that's why I brought up like the MJ example or whatever. It don't even gotta be that high. I, I don't know if Swipe has played and Swipe was just the name we threw out there. I don't know if he's played high level basketball, what is his level of understanding to the X's and O's are, et cetera, et cetera. But if we're talking about him versus somebody who's put in 10, 15 plus years on an NBA court, at some point, like that person could have the right to say, Hey, you are a casual in this conversation. Because mm-hmm. you just ain't did it the way that I did it. Mind you, I could have Googled everything that I know about my car, this, that, and the third, but a mechanic that works on a car day in and day out mm-hmm. has every right to say, well, you're a casual when it comes to this because, you know, you didn't work on the car. You don't, you that's, don't work on things. I would have to know what the discussion is about first. To okay. right. If, if oh, the yeah. mechanic is saying stuff that doesn't make sense about cars, I don't give a damn how long you spent working on cars. You're not making sense. Like, there's plenty of people, and we're about to talk about, but there's plenty of people who put 10,000 hours into a craft to be, be professional, and they dedicated their life to this. They made life-changing money, and, and they will be seen as experts. But you put a microphone in front of them, they'll say some dumb shit like, I don't know, get all the Euros out of the NBA. At that point... I, I mean, how much of an expert are you when you're saying shit like that? When you're walking around here with a big ass crown saying, yeah, we're talking about the all time debate. Let me remove this nigga out of it because it's not even fair to say him and to talk about everybody else. Like at, at a certain point, it's like, okay, damn your experience. Your knowledge on this is definitely lacking. You can have all the experience in the world, but when it's time to have knowledge on some shit, you're still lacking in that. But even, you, even you are if right. It's only like certain points of his conversation. Like what if he can go to X's and O's, the interpersonal, uh, if he can talk to other basketball talk. Okay, you said this about the Euros or whatever the case may be. You don't automatically become a casual or not knowledgeable because you have this bad Euro take. You're, you're right. But that's you're what I'm right. saying. You can you can come to a widely agreed, I guess, wrong conclusion, but not be a casual. That's what I was making earlier. Because again, mm-hmm. like Gil has watched he, he's played in the league. He's dedicated his life to it, and he watches a lot of basketball. If his conclusion just isn't your conclusion, that doesn't necessarily make him a casual. He just came to that conclusion in a different way. Yep, because it's called human bias. That will always affect um, takes, no matter what happens. Let me play our guy. Because if we're speaking on this, we got to give some examples. Stephen A. Smith. Come on, looking at Grimes. He's looked good. My favorite Pokemon. I'm looking at Isaiah Hartenstein. As a reserve, giving you activity off the bench. I'm looking at Mitchell Robinson being here on the court, back on the court. Now, you know, he's giving praise to his New York Knicks. The funny thing is, <laughs> Quentin Grimes hasn't been playing. Well, well. Brett Usher, the Grimes thing, fine. Perhaps he meant to say McBride. But mispronouncing Hartenstein and calling him a reserve when he hasn't come off the bench since mid-December is a dead giveaway that he doesn't watch the Knicks. And if he and if he's not even watching his home slash favorite team, how much NBA basketball is he, an awards voter, actually watching? And to be fair, it's probably next to impossible to squeeze genuine game watching into his, I'm assuming, unimaginably busy schedule. It's just funny how that all works. I agree with the latter. I do think like Stephen A is one of the few people on earth because of his job, specifically in the sports shit, actually creates more content and talks about sports more than actually watching the sport. So, yeah, because motherfuckers live fuck, uh, five times a week, has his own podcast. Yeah. At night, I highly, I don't know. I just feel like I'd be burnt out once I get off work. <laughs> Watch more sports when I get home. I don't, I don't know. More. Yeah. Like, he's in a position where he has a responsibility to watch a fair bit of basketball, especially if you if you hold some type of voter status, if you hold status to to make MVP votes, first team votes, stuff like that, you have a ob- to me at least. I feel like you should be there's an obligation to watch basketball. Me personally, I watch you know watch basketball here and there, but once I start doing players' choice, hey man, it's only so much goddamn yapping I could do until I'm like, all right, I gotta <laughs> I'm five times a week. Yeah. I gotta actually know what I'm talking about. I can't just get up here yapping about Westbrook stinks. I gotta actually 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fuck I want here, boy. Like, I gotta actually, I ha- you have to watch it. So, I, I feel it. See if they can be as busy as you want. Hey, man, give your fucking vote up. Stop voting for shit then if you're too busy to watch the game. Stop voting if you're too busy to know that your favorite team, Hartenstein, not Hartenstein, if you don't even know that the guy that you're talking about got traded from your team five weeks ago at the deadline, I, give your vote up. Like, you're too busy. For me, um, I do want to say shout out to the tweet because, yeah, we, we could have played stupid and or opened up a conversation that would have been unfortunate, which is he is too busy. So they give I give him slack there as a human to not do that. But I actually, you know, I actually agree with Domo here. And it sounds harsh, but yeah, he, he just if he is genuinely too busy, that's fine. But he probably shouldn't be voting if he literally doesn't watch the games. This is kind of like crazy considering what's going on with uh, a lot of these players um they're begging they're not begging they're forcing themselves to play the 65 some players we've even accused of as fans of begging for the mvp award they're doing a lot of shit to try to get these um awards to get these super max deals all this stuff this is some serious shit going on when you're an actual award voter and if you don't have the time to watch the game that's fine it's kind of like one of those moments where like 10 year old sage would be crying in the car if you found out Stephen A didn't actually watch it. Oops, because, like, <laughs> damn, bro. But it is what it is, and that's fine. I'm not saying he doesn't watch basketball at all either. I just don't think he watches basketball at such a high volume to where it's like, yeah, he should be a voter. And that's voter fine. for all NBA. Now, I mean, let, me, let me just make it clear. I don't, I don't disagree with y'all, but go ahead, Trey. Uh, I, mean, I mean, honestly, like, I get what y'all are saying, and like I do agree with y'all. Like, yeah, he's probably too busy to really sit down and watch the ins and outs of every MVP candidates' games, all the good performances, the bad performances, to break it down, right? But if we were to really just to sit and break down, or to sit and like try to like look at everybody that's got a vote and see if they really watching the game, it'll be more people that's disqualified than y'all know, honestly, bro. So it's just it's it's just, it's it's a broken system that we're just dealing with, honestly, like. I'll go a step further, my boy. The no, question would no. become, who is qualified? Because I want, I will admit, and I had this point on uh, Souls and Sage a brick ago, Souls. I don't know if you remember this. Dog, y'all get a little unrealistic when y'all say watch the games over and over and over again because there's a lot of there's a lot of basketball that you're asking mm-hmm. for someone to watch. Uh, that, hell, even injuries, unfortunately, I, I hate injuries, but there's even a lot of injuries where sometimes you're like, yo, where bro on the court? And you're casual. We got her last game. Damn, I did. <laughs> Damn, bro, my bad. <laughs> so it's like it, it's a lot of hoops to really go into. Someone in the chat just typed it. That's 82 games times 30. That's a that's a ton. I'm sorry if I don't know everything about the Rockets, bro. Like it is what it is. Hey, hold on, man. Come on, you could have you could have won another team. I'm in Houston. Come on, go go another team, man. <laughs> I rooted but, for Houston. I, I mean, go to the but I genuinely feel like when it comes to the NBA, and that's the thing, the people that are, are that should be qualified to do it are the people who are funded by the NBA to watch. But then, I mean, you can get to an ethical dilemma of, oh, then are they paying for guys to to vote for certain things? That hey, I would much rather have that. Then having like last year, niggas like Kendra Perkins would have vote. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not vote for Jokic because he white. Essentially, like I'm not. I, I would much rather get into the conspiracies of is the NBA paying for rigged votes versus hearing niggas talk about, hey yo, I'm not yeah. gonna vote for Jokic because he white, and then turn around, hey, I did vote for Jokic the whole time. Like I'm not trying to deal with that shit. Like it, the NBA should have people in place. They have people who track every single stat of every single game. So it's not like it's not people already who are dedicating hours and hours and hours a year who are being paid to watch basketball. That's already going on. Hell, there's content creators who genuinely, they single out a team, a player, whatever it is, they're watching shit on the basketball because it's their job. It should be someone's job paid by the league or take a page out of Omar's book, a third party who has dedicated their time to watch as much basketball as humanly possible. Now, obviously, you're going to need a lot of people and it's going to be a committee, and you do shit like this, that, and the third. There's ways to work around it, but people should be paid and obligated to do this and actually watch basketball if we have an accolades. Because someone in the chat said it best. All this stuff from Stephen A. and Kendrick Perkins and all them, it's just giving all the people that's like, yo, these accolades don't mean shit. Giving them more fuel to the fire. Why would yeah. I care about the MVP if the niggas who are voting for MVP don't even watch the MVP? They're coming up with, with Twitter narratives for why I'm giving Luca the MVP. I'm giving Luca the MVP because... Fuck Jokic for the third year in a row. Like, that's crazy. Skip thought James Harden had man boobs in practice. So this is when I already knew it was good. Well, like, what are we? I would have on on on, uh, on Skip Bayless' show, Rachel Nichols said that the Warriors were a team that depended on free throws. Huh. 
And since 2022, they've literally had the least amount of free throw attempts. Curry don't and even shoot three a game, do we? Yeah. That's the third least free throws per game say, as a what? team. It's I am looking at the voting list, the voter list from last season. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, there's there's bad apples in there. I mean, Kendrick Perkins is on here. Stephen A. Smith is on here. But I feel like it's not enough to like say, ah, these motherfuckers don't know what they're talking about. But how are, who, who are you to evaluate that? Uh, like, who are these names? Who are some of these people you're looking at and you're just like, oh, man, that's a valid voter? I'll, I'll, I'll put the – I'll give you all the links. still on there? Huh? Ain't Bill Simmons still on there? Yeah. That's a biased nigga. Oh, so, and I, and mind you, you, you triggered my trap. Wait, where is it? You triggered my trap card. I haven't done the Yu-Gi-Oh thing yet. My bad. Jesus I have Christ. Bill Simmons. <laughs> my B-star. So I have Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons uh, uh, poked fun at JJ and LeBron's podcast. And he's just a bitter. He, all these bitter podcasters is coming out because LeBron didn't sit down with him. Um. This is what he says. The J.J. LeBron podcast, I'm glad they're doing it. But the first 15 minutes of the pod, when they were lecturing everybody that basketball discourse is so bad, they're here to save the day. I was personally offended, the Ringer founder said. It was like, hey, man, we're trying. We're trying to have some more basketball conversations. Ryan Russillo, his friend, says, what was that day like for you? He says, Bill Simmons, it was like, all right, guys, congrats. There's a lot of smart people trying to have conversations about basketball. We've been trying to do this for the last 15 to 20 years on podcasts. Now, obviously you're doing it wrong. This is the same dude who's in the, who's in a similar boat as, as Stephen A. Smith might, uh, you know, he's had some blunders where he doesn't know who's on the bench and who's starting and who's not. And he doesn't know players names and he self admittedly watch uh, nothing but Celtics basketball. And he just, <laughs> It pushes aside some of these guys. Like, no, nah, it's it's they they in the wrong boat too. You shouldn't have a vote either. If you I mean, I'm just know, saying there there are certain names that are literally known for having bad takes, like Kendrick Perkins yeah. and Stephen A. Bill Simmons is cool. He I, I think everyone has bad takes and everyone does have biases. But I still think there's a level of I guess objectivity. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel like there's just levels to this shit. And Bill Simmons is is still a level above a Kendrick Perkins and a Stephen A. Smith. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But. Nonetheless, we're at the always that casual shit is stupid. Going back to the original hot take. So he says y'all are getting belt to ass right now. God. Yeah. Yeah. We're that record. Right that on pod record is getting worse, gang. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> now, oh, every, he, I mean, y'all lose. Yeah, yeah, every it. time we're on in the Celtics play, they lose. It is. It, There's it a let's keep it about Chris, bad. bro. Oh, By thirty-two, like Jalen Brunson is. I'm gonna say thirty. I turned it they off. I thought it was up twenty-one. Oh, bro. Oh, well, it's that's uh, close enough. Yeah. But this is serious. Hey, man, listen. Well, lower the pressure for my seeds. We don't operate. We, we we do not operate good under pressure. Maybe they so. will make the final. Shit, my bad. Yeah, next doubt time. us, please. Do not expect us to win. <laughs> he always wants this back. Against him. He yeah, always yeah, yeah. No, that is, that's literally what happened in um the the Eastern Conference Finals last season. <laughs> we was playing want. ass up until we were down 3 and for four straight games we played good up until Game Seven. But before I step off the podium. Um, I need my apology from Damo. <laughs> For what? Uh oh. Last week, you you really tried to get on to me, or Monday, I'm sorry, you really tried to get on to me about the transfer portal and women using the transfer portal. And so then Brown. I, what did I say? so what did I say? Hold on, Fight. hold on, hold on. And so I sent you a person who could and should, you know, put point you in the right direction about women using the transfer portal. Who I followed, yes. Okay, so now have you seen some of the news about? The I've seen the. Uh, I've seen everyone saying how oh, it's a UConn player that's about to transfer or whatever it is. I, I have seen that because the person that I sent you, who I was following at the time for my transfer info, once I started noticing that that nigga would just retweet or post only about the men's, I was like, okay, so yeah, I have a biased source, I guess, for transfer news. But what did I say specifically earlier this week about the transfer stuff? Come on, I just need you to apologize. I what did know. I say? No, no, no. What did I say I really, about I the really, transfer stuff? I really don't know, but I just need an apology. Oh, so you, well, you're not getting no damn apology if you don't know what you want an apology for. What? 
Mm. And you said, mm. what did I say? The transfer portal. They'd be using the kitchen portal. That's that, is, that is not what I said. I said, yeah. I said, and I quote, on the men's side, more said. upper echelon talent enters the transfer <laughs> portal compared to the women's. I didn't say women don't transfer. I, I just said, that. That's when you changed it. You did change it to that. But go ahead. Keep going. Did he? That's what I said. I'm not saying I, I, I did it. I literally yeah. said the elite I'm talent. Guess, like, I, I specified. Already. Let me say I specified because maybe I maybe I misspoke because I was getting gaslit for fucking two hours. So <laughs> I specified. <laughs> and I said the upper echelon talent on the men's side transfers at a higher rate than the upper echelon talent on the women's side. That is what I said. Am I going to get my apology or not? For what? <laughs> He's not gonna get it, man. I think he's holding, man. All, all I've seen ever since, ever since I hit you on the timeline, I was like, "Who should I follow for women's news?" I have seen what two or three, if that, about women transferring, and one of them they didn't even say the girl name. They just kept saying a a, a star you play. They wouldn't even say her name. So did you go back through um like the posts that they've been posting? I scrolled a little bit and seen they were posting about women. Yes, I, yeah. I, did. I did. And I know that you know this is. Reagan mm-hmm. Beard, uh, she announced going to the That's not important. After reaching the Elite Eight, they played South Carolina. They lost seven of the players into the transfer portal from that Oregon State team. Yeah, it's a lot. Are, are they? Is seven elite players on Oregon? I would think so if they uh, made the Elite Eight. But I will say this: this, mm-hmm. uh, this is that's a, not what that means. Oh, okay. uh, I, mean, I guess so. <laughs> now, mind you, now, mind you, when when seven you, elite you, players, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hey, man, that sounds like a super team. Now, now I'm, I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're here. When you quote elite team. that, you sent me a guy, if I'm not mistaken, who was like coming off the bench uh, uh, on, on Duke's team or some shit like that. It wasn't about the guy transferring. It was about the guy that was dropping the news. I oh, even I, said it in the tweet. I just really want to know what, what do you consider elite talent? Is it their past, like their high school ranking, or is it what they're currently doing in college? What they're current? Both, actually. Either a highly touted recruit going into college or someone that's actively elite in college. One of the both. Wrong answer. No, I, if, it, if it's both. <laughs> Both is gonna both is gonna cover both is gonna cover his ass. Both is gonna cover his ass. Cause I was gonna say there's some five stars that I see in the men transferring and moving around like that. Like I guess like Bronny, but ain't doing shit in college. But if he's still considered elite, I guess so. Was Bronny a five star? He was a four. I'm about to say I didn't to say I didn't think Bronny was a five star, but I'm not trying to get a gotcha. I just didn't know. But yeah, I didn't think Bronny was five stars. Okay, okay. That's all I got. Hmm. I, I'm gonna I'm I'm provide hmm. more. The third, Draw. the third, <laughs> the guy third, who doesn't give apologies, Damo. Uh, yes, sir. The third, the third in the nation. You just care a lot of niggas is out here apologizing because Jake Holy is like the fuck. <laughs> the, oh, the third <laughs> score in the nation transferred, by the way, but you know, <laughs> Cole fans not supposed to talk about that no more, man. Because he he think his Carolina Jesus apologized now all of us just going around saying sorry like the Carolina fuck? Jesus that he is that I, I'm gonna keep referring to him as that too. I'm That's not Carolina. from Carolina. You got it. I raise you now. Nah, I'm about to bring up the, the baby just tickler. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, that baby Jesus. That's, literally. That's, literally. That's, That's Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's just Jesus. <laughs> Actually, a lot more from both sides. I know we're not going to go into it, but them destroying the Pac-12, I know that's, like, too deep. Them destroying Man, the Pac-12 stupid. I, I don't like it. I don't like it, bro. Sad. Yeah. I don't I don't know what the thought process is. What schools, in the Pac, uh, what schools were in the Pac-12? We were all Pac-12 schools. Uh, you had um, UCLA, USC. You had mm-hmm. Oregon, Oregon State. Uh, Washington, Washington State. Um, what other schools am I missing? Utah, Arizona State, Arizona, Arizona, Arizona State. Like it's 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 really because of how big the Big Ten and the SEC has gotten. They 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 really good with their marketing deals. So teams and or conferences that's not stepping up, they jump. And that's like me. I'm a Texas Longhorn fan. My whole life, Big Twelve. It's so weird to know that my school is now going to be SEC, and I fucking hate the SEC. So it's all about the money, bro. It's not just a basketball thing. It's a no. I don't know. Well, football, football drives everything. It's football. They're doing it for football, but they dragging everything else. 
Got it, got it. Mm-hmm. But the but the worst part is in, in like a one of the better prospects out of that's coming out of or that's going into the WNBA was that was part of her reason for not coming back that extra year was like they're going to the ACC, mm-hmm. which is the on the other coast, and she was like, I, I can't, I can't fathom going to North Carolina on a Wednesday and then having to come back to finish out classes all the in way up Cali? the coast. Yeah, in Cali, <laughs> what's what school? Stanford. Stanford. Yeah, just oh, that's just, that's just stupid. Yeah, it's just totally stupid. But we'll see. I mean, for all sports, I think we'll see a bunch of transfers because they literally that that doesn't make any sense to do some shit like that. But it is what it is. Anyway, with that being said, Trey, ladies and gentlemen. Let people know where they can find you before we get out of here. Uh, man, you can follow me on Twitch, Trey, T R A Y. YouTube, Trey, T R A Y. It's going to pop up. Also, Instagram, all that, man. You'll find me. I will cool. pop into randomly slander 2K17. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Don't do it, man. Look, it's a good game. It's a good game. Uh, Sage, say goodbye to the people. All right, people. Uh, again, I want to shout out to you guys in case some of you weren't there and or were on YouTube, whatever reason you missed the announcement. Shout out to TSO for hitting 80K, 20K from 100. We need the plaque with my name on it. Yes, on some selfish shit. Already got one. I'm trying to be a two-time champ, so please follow that up. Follow the Twitch as well. Yo, I understand. I ain't been streaming lately. Look, it took me some time to get used to the schedule, but I think I found a loophole. I've been able to slowly sneak in those recordings in the morning. So if I'm able to take advantage of either the midday and or just stream in the morning, y'all know the sleep schedule sucks. We're going to wake the fuck up. It's going to be good regardless. Take care. Stay blessed. See you guys next time. And I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to preheat my hot take next week. Michael Jackson has the most aura of all time. Sit on that. (laughs) It's crazy, pause. Uh, Dom, say goodbye to the people, man. All right, Chaz, me and my favorite midnight snack, and we will be back. Next pod, because I keep telling y'all about the stream and then shit pop up. But nah, that serious. Uh, I'm gonna see if could have been house comes out. We definitely might watch that shit tomorrow. And if it don't, I'll probably have to catch up because I think I left y'all off for episode two and I don't watch episode three or four already. Tough. Uh, <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna make something happen. <laughs> we gonna make something happen. Hell, streamer. Hell, <laughs> <I'm dying. laughs> oh, as a nigga who's been like... content solo, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> No, no, you so you're such a crazy. fan. You know, I'm no, 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 no. It's not even that I'm watching the solo, I'm just in the watching shit in Discord. I've learned this the same way say say he found a loophole. I think I finally found a loophole. When I'm in Discord, I'm gonna just turn my stream. Look yeah. what I'm doing. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna just stream when I'm in Discord because too much funny shit happens, and, and and that will be the content. Fuck trying to figure out what y'all like and blah blah blah. You niggas love me, and I love y'all. We just I, if I'm in Discord, yeah. I'm gonna just start turning my shit on, and that's how we're gonna go from there. We're gonna build the momentum. But yeah, yeah. I, I will be back. Very, very soon. Not gonna give y'all a date though. Um, be so say goodbye to the people, man. Peace out, y'all. Appreciate y'all for coming through. Shout out to Trey as well, uh, for coming again. Um, this is my last podcast in this apartment. Next time y'all see me, there will be a whole new set, bro. I'm excited to set up the new room. That's one of my favorite parts of the process, getting all the equipment together and things of that nature. But um, yeah, man, appreciate y'all for showing up. Uh, shouts out to Jake from State Farm. Typecast of hell. He can never be anything else. <laughs> that nigga can't even get no bitches because they will always see him <laughs> at Jake from State Farm. Damn. Yeah. Name, I ain't going to lie to you. A couple of them might come at Jake from State Farm. Well, that might man. actually be kinky for him. Uh, well, I done seen Travis Scott <laughs> walking and just dap bro up exclusively. He might get some, bro. If your kink is Jake from State Farm, then Jake from State Farm, let me tell you, run. Okay. Everybody got one. <laughs> all, all, he, all Jake need is one. He's in good uh, hands. New That's videos not even every single other day. Y'all see it. Turn the noties on. Um, with that being said, take care. Stay blessed, man. Bye, guys. Bye. Peace. I don't have a hot ticket in this spot. Sorry. <laughs>